All right, hello and welcome. I took your guys' suggestions and I played one of them. I played actually multiple, but this is gonna be covering one of them. Possibly one of my favorites. It's so good. This game is Heroes 2. It's really, really good. The link will be down below in the description if you want to give it a shot. That's your little friendly reminder. I think uh, there should have been an edit in the beginning saying that. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. The player, you load in. If it's your first time, you go through the tutorial. So what you do is you spawn in a room, you kick down a door, and beat the crap out of enemies. Amazing! <laughs> this game is a dungeon crawler. It's not a roguelike, despite its very, very similar kind of design to Enter the Gungeon. It's a top-down adventure dungeon crawler type of game. There's no roguelike aspects. Once you beat the crap out of the enemies, you can flip over a few items in the room, maybe tables, maybe some crates, maybe some pottery, something like that. Go around the rooms, you can collect these crystal-like items that are in rooms. I believe they're called curses, and they regen your hearts along with mana. Collect treasure and get more materials for crafting. Once you're done with the tutorial, you are sent to a big giant town with a ton of different NPCs, players, and things you can do. Want to test out your abilities? Want to try out your new sword? Training dummies are here to help. Want to use those materials you collected to build a new weapon? Head over to the anvil and create the weapon of your dreams. Want a scythe? Want a lightning staff? Want a crossbow? Dude, there are plenty. Plenty of weapons, all with their own different styles of abilities and combat. Want an AoE kind of big area surrounding weapon? Go for like a good melee. Want a single target hit magic weapon? Go for a lightning staff. Want a piercing ranged weapon? Grab a crossbow. Do you want a sword and a flintlock? Go kill a boss, because you can literally get a flintlock, you can get, I believe, a shotgun or a blunderbust as well. You can get a lot of weapons in this game. Uh, there was one thing I did mention. Bosses. Now, the combat is insane. Every single little enemy you meet along the way has their own little combat patterns. They'll either dash at you, maybe teleport, maybe they'll shoot something at you. But the bosses is where things get really heated. Bosses can be so fun. So fun, really amazing, and really terrifying. <laughs> it's not always bad, but it's very, very enjoyable and very relieving once you kill that boss and you're able to proceed, either by leveling up or either by clearing the stage that was required to proceed. Stuck on that mission for the 100th time? Change the difficulty. You can change the difficulty of every single stage. You feel very confident? Try Veteran, try Hero, try Legendary. You feel like you're kinda not ready, but you do want to experience a little bit? Try Rookie, maybe. There's a ton of different difficulty scales that you can apply, and each one has their own little differences. I believe Veteran scales up the loot drop by a little bit, but it also adds in some health regen to enemies or something like that. Rookie, on the other hand, maybe you'll have a lesser chance of loot, but it's way, way, way more easy. This game is really, really fun. I highly recommend it. Me and my pals really enjoyed it. We played for a few hours and we racked up to level 70, I believe. The game will definitely entertain you if you're looking for a new RPG, adventure, or dungeon crawler. If you don't like those genres, well, it's alright. If you don't like the genres, just check out my playlist, check out the recent videos. I make content on a wide spectrum of game genres. You want a fast-paced shooter? I've covered quite a few of those. I've got a few playlists. There's two playlists. There's recommended Roblox games and there's requested Roblox games. The requested Roblox games playlists are requested games that you guys have put comments on. 
recommended are games that I have played and I would recommend you guys to check out if you're ever bored. That's gonna be it from me, similar to, I believe, Stratagema. I'm gonna have some footage at the very end, in a really, really soon, uh, so you guys can get a feel of the game and what it's about, kinda, you know, the real-time aspects of the game. But if you just wanna jump into the game, the link is down below, like always, and hopefully you have enjoyed. Hopefully you found something good. Leave some suggestions down below if you have any. I'll be covering a bunch of them that you guys have submitted. I will see ya. <laughs> we got murdered. Bleed gives mana or takes mana? Ooh, nice. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that's uncool. <laughs> Nicely done, Song. Nicely done. I didn't think it would. He died. Uh, me and Gon dodged it, but you couldn't. I attempted. <laughs> we got wood planks, though. That's at least a benefit. Uh, three elites and no chess. That's fun. Oh, their health is so chonky. What the hell? I literally feel like I'm playing mid lane League of Legends. Just go in for one attack and Apparently, roll out. I'm dead, dead. Don't worry, you'll be revived. Unless that's the end. Oh, looks like it's not. Oh, that's a large area. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, what the hell is that? Why? Why is it so weird? <laughs> no, dude. I don't like this boss. He's coming oh, after me. Oh, that's so weird. What is that attack? Oh, he spawns. That's not fun. I can't reach him enough to shoot at him. Oh, okay, we good. Uh, gone heal up Will. Will's a little bit low. I'll heal myself. Focus on time. <laughs> A sweeping blow is murderous. <laughs> the poison really sucks to fight against. That AoE blast, the barrier. I got spooky. There were a lot of attack areas. Got it. Well, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs>